in the raw. In the raw. RK is Guyana Free Media. And I'm your friend and brother, Haji Dr. Roshan Khan. It will appear, my, my dear friends and family, that opposition leader and uh, leader of the People's National Congress, Reform, Aubrey Norton, wants to dictate the mind and the soul and the schedule of His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali. And so he has been jumping and hopping and swelling his mouth. As we know, he likes to show a very pompous and vexatious face. I feel sorry for the guy. Now I understand why Forbes Burnham kept him shunted. Now I understand why Desmond Hoyt, former president, both of them presidents, former, had to get rid of him. Why under the other leaderships, including Corbyn and others as well, as, as well as, I had to stop there for a moment, you know how things go, because this, this ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, is in the raw. While working and doing everything, I'm trying to bring out a beautiful message in a style and technique that is my own, indigenous to me. And that is why even President Granger, former President Granger, kept him at a distance, at a corner. They knew, he, as a president, former president, uh, and vice president, uh, Barra Jack Day was said, he is not ready for the big league. They knew this. I actually supported the guy. But now I kind of regretted it because... He has a vexatious behavior, and it is claimed and alleged by many that he is an anti-Indian and an Indian hater in Guyana. I don't know, but this is what has been pushed around in social media um, and around the country for many, 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 many years. But personally, I do not know. I'm repeating what I've seen in the media. Now this is what President Ali said as he's trying to dictate to President Ali about appointments. And this is coming from Bill Ramirez, Guyana in Diversity, United as the Nation and President Ali. There are no issues about appointing the Chancellor and the Chief Justice. But this will be done when the others other commission appointments are made. Our comments, Norton, that is the comment of Bill Naram Race, Norton is very green as a leader of a party or the opposition. He needs to take a deep breath and relax his mind. He gives the impression that he's aggressive and in a rush. And I will add to it, as if he is in charge. Back to the article, back to the piece or the opinion point of Bill Ramirez. Guyana does not need that approach at this time of nation building, and I agree with him. Maybe he should consider a more intellectual approach, a more refined approach. Much can be achieved by being understandable, cooperative, and of course, pursue his line of policies, but in a more seeded way, says Bill Ramirez. But you know, Brother Bill, the man can't help it. He is what he is because of what he is. How is that? He is what he is because of what he is, what is in his heart, what is in his soul. So let us see what. 
the article is saying from Guyana Times, we have no issues appointing Chancellor Chief, Chief Justice President Ali. Says it will be done after establishment of Service Commission's President Dr. Irfan Ali and stated that he, he would be engaging the leader of the opposition, Aubrey Norton, on the appointments of the Chancellor and Chief Justice when the time is right and after the various service commissions are established. Right, Aubrey? Crawl. At the Prince Conference on Monday last, Norton expressed his support for the confirmation of Justice Yonet Cummings Edwards as Chancellor and Justice Roxon George as Chief Justice. They are currently acting in their respective positions. So if he has an opinion, it is not the president that needs his opinion to decide. The president has to consult with him, advise, as Granger did. Granger spoke to Mara Jagdale and went and do his thing. It seems to me that Aubrey Norton is worried about this. At the press conference on Monday last, Norton expressed support for the two of them. In recognition of the importance and necessity of making permanent appointments to the offices of Chancellor and Chief Justice, we restate our commitment to agreeing to the immediate appointment of Justice uh, Yonet Cummins Edwards and Roxon George as the Chancellor and Chief Justice, respectively, the opposition leader had stated. Guyana states the Chancellor. Article 127.1 of the Constitution of Guyana states the Chancellor and the Chief Justice shall each be appointed by the President, acting after obtaining the agreement of the Leader of the Opposition. So the Leader of the Opposition technically has to agree. If he doesn't turn up, then he loses his opportunity, <coughs> as we saw with the Service Commissions. We have no issues appointing Chancellor and Chief Justice, but when the right time comes, we'll have the consultations on the Chancellor and the Chief Justice. The consultation with the opposition leader so far was on commissions. The President has said, the, the President has said, the President asked for consultations on those commissions. Specifically, the head of state told reporters on Friday at State House. On May 13, President Ali and opposition leader Norton met for the first time to consult on the appointment of the various service commissions, including the Judicial Service Commission, Police Service Commission, Teaching Service Commission, and the Integrity Commission. At the time, the two leaders had agreed to consult in keeping with the Constitution, which stipulates that meaningful consultation will be held on the appointments of uh, these service commissions. So it was not for the Chief Justice confirmation, nor the Chancellor of the Judiciary. However, when the Head of State invited the Opposition Leader last Monday for the second meeting, Norton failed to show, citing that he was busy. As a result, President Ali went ahead and appointed the Police Service Commission and the Integrity Commission the following day when the members were sworn in, asked about the appointments of the other commissions on Friday, the Guyanese Leader said, consultations were completed. I have completed consultations on these, on those that uh, were before the process, including the three names for the Teaching Service Commission and one for the Judicial Service Commission, the President indicated. Meanwhile, Norton has since indicated his intention to legally challenge last week's appointment of the Police Service Commission and the Integrity Commission. The members of the PSC were selected and approved by the National Assembly and the two leaders were required to meet and appoint a chairman from among the names. President Ali has criticized Norton's no-show at the meeting as an act of unwillingness and immaturity and has made it clear that the country's development will not be held hostage by political objectives and IFI state are, vexu are usually vexu vexatious 
and swollen mouth man. I am pursuing one Guyana. It is clear to me that those aspirations of mine may not be shared by Mr. Norton because he did not have the dignity, the professionalism to even respond orally or in writing to an invitation by the office of the president. If this is the approach of the leader of the opposition, I have no problem with that. My approach is to move the country forward. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll move on a bit. That's those are a bit repetitive. Meanwhile, Attorney General and Legal Affairs Minister Anil Nandalal, who had accompanied the president on both occasions to meet the opposition leader, said during his weekly program issues in the news, on Tuesday, the government cannot wait any longer to make these appointments. Judges have to be appointed. Teachers have to be appointed. Police have to be promoted. Important decisions have to be made. We cannot allow Mr. Norton to ridicule the process and reduce it to one of the egocentricities that he seemed to be engaged in the public domain, Nandalal said. The Attorney General noted that Norton has displayed a lack of understanding of the importance of these appointments as well as the role of the office and he further reassured that the government and President Ali have complied with the pro provisions of the Constitution in relation to the appointments made last Tuesday and will continue to do so with other appointments. No one will hold our government at ransom and try to bully and behave in any way that is con contumacious and contemptuous, either of our government or the important constitutional process. They will not allow to be degraded or to be molested or contumacious, disrespected and contemptuous, rude and pompous for those who might have a problem with the words, ladies and gentlemen. It cannot be tolerated. Every effort will continue to be made to engage Mr. Norton in compliance with the Constitution. Whenever Mr. Norton is unwilling to engage, the process will be proceeded with in accordance with the Constitution. The Constitution, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, Nandalal says, nor the law will ever contemplate a situation where the entire rule of law will be held to ransom because you have a recalcitrant, a recalcitrant is a hesitant person, a person who does not make good decisions, a person who holds back or tries bullying. A recalcitrant or delinquent, one who does not follow the rule of law and breaks the law leader of the opposition who refuses to consult the legal affairs minister has contended. So ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, to my opinion, Mr. Norton continues to show himself as a puerile, which is childish and immature, and he disaffect what I would consider still a great political party, but with the last leadership and now with this, this leadership, they seem to be destroying and denigrating and wiping out, I would say, the People's National Congress because of poor example, management and leadership. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, Inda Ra, Archage, Guyana, Free Media, and Farewell.